In today's video, we are going to introduce one of the best travel bargains to be found in Japan. With this ticket, you can visit three islands in Toba Bay. This ticket is valid for four days, and enables you to spend one night on each of the three islands if you wish. However, we are going to try and visit all three islands in just one day. The ticket costs just 1480 yen, which is currently less than 10 US dollars. When using this three island ticket, it is important to note that you are only allowed to disembark once at Toba Marine Terminal if you are returning from any of the islands. A member of staff will collect your ticket as you step off the ferry at Toba Marine Terminal. Toba, Mieken. Our tour begins at the smaller of the two municipal ferry terminals in Toba City. Nakanogo. Ferry Terminal. Most of the ferries leave from Toba Marine Terminal, which is located in the center of Toba City, just a few minutes walk from the main train station. However, we are going to travel to Toba Marine Terminal on the ferry that is now approaching. With the three island ferry pass, no extra charge is required. The journey to Toba Marine Terminal will take only about five minutes. Most visitors to the islands in Toba Bay leave from the marine terminal, and very few use the terminal at Nakanogo. Our ferry is now approaching Toba Marine Terminal, which is located in central Toba. The port itself is called Sadahama. Most visitors would probably start their three island tour from this port. We are just changing boats here at Sadahama. Our next ferry journey will be to the island of Toshijima. There are three ports on this island, but the three island pass can be used to visit only two of them. The two ports that one can visit with this ticket are Toshi and Wagyu. Our destination is the port of Toshi, which is located at the far end of the island, but the ferry will first make a brief stop at the port of Wagyu. Our ferry is making a brief stop at the port of Wagu. The journey from Toba Marine Terminal has taken us about 15 minutes. We are staying on the boat for about another 10 minutes until we reach the port of Toshi. We are about to disembark at Toshi Port, which will be our first port of call on the islands. This settlement, with about 1,000 residents, is the largest on Toshijima Island. 
According to official statistics, the population of the island in May 2024 was 1,223. Toshijima is the largest island off the coast of Mie Prefecture. It lies about 2.5 kilometers northeast of Toba Port. The waters around Toshijima are renowned as particularly rich fishing grounds, so this island is renowned for high-quality seafood. Around half of the working population of the island is engaged in fishing. The Marahachi symbol is the emblem of the island's Hachimang shrine. People paint it at the entrance to their houses to ask the gods for good fishing catches, and for the health and prosperity of their families. Toshijima Island is also known for a traditional practice known as Nayako, in which families send their male children to lodge with another family from the time that they graduate from junior high school. While the youths are expected to eat their meals with their birth family, they sleep at the home of their host family. The youths generally spend their free time learning from their host fathers, many of whom are fishermen. They continue living under this system until they either get married or reach the age of 27. It is said that the Nayako system has helped to preserve the local island culture and fishing methods. It has also helped to strengthen personal relationships in the community. We have walked to Wagu Port, from which we will be boarding our next ferry. The village of Wagu is renowned for a kind of seaweed, known as Makame. Wagu is a thriving fishing port, which is especially known for Spanish mackerel. There is also a popular beach, Wagu Sunshine Beach, which gets a lot of visitors in the summer. The bathing season here is from July to September. 
changing rooms and toilets are available. The beach also has a saltwater pool. Here comes our next ferry, which will take us to the island of Kamishima. We're boarding our third ferry, bound for Kamishima, the island that is furthest away from Toba port. This journey will take approximately 20 minutes. We have now arrived in Kamishima, an island which is closer to Irago in Aichi Prefecture than to Toba City in Nier Prefecture. Despite having a circumference of just 3.9 kilometers, Kamishima has a number of interesting attractions that make it a very worthwhile island to visit. According to official statistics, the population of the island in May 2024 was 283. Kamishima is the setting for the novel, Shiosai, The Sound of Waves, which was written in 1954 by the Japanese author, Yukio Mishima, who spent time on the island. The island has been used several times as a filming location for movies. Kamishima's main Shinto shrine, Yatsushiro Shrine, can be reached by climbing 214 stone steps. The sea deity is enshrined at this shrine.
The shrine contains a number of sacred treasures, including bronze mirrors and pottery, which have been designated as tangible cultural property by the Japanese government. Kamishima Lighthouse, which was first illuminated in 1910, was built to ensure safe navigation through the Irago Strait, which has long been known as a dangerous sea passage. The lighthouse has been selected as one of Japan's 50 best lighthouses, and a lighthouse keeper remained here until 1963. This lighthouse is mentioned in Yukio Mishima's novel, The Sound of Waves. One of Kamishima's main tourist attractions is the war relic known as the Kantekisho Ruins. During wartime, this facility was used by the Imperial Japanese Army to monitor the impact of ammunition fired from cannons positioned on the other side of the Irago Channel. The Kantekisho ruins are featured in the climax scene of Yukio Mishima's novel, The Sound of Waves. The building has been preserved exactly as depicted in the novel.
An unusual sight on Kamishima Island is the spectacular outcrop of karst topography above Niwa no Hama Beach. This area is considered to be one of the three most important karst sites in Japan. This scenery is thought to have been formed by the erosion of the limestone rock by rain and groundwater over a long period of time. It seems that obtaining water for daily use has always been a great struggle for the residents of Kamishima. Until the late 1970s, when the island was connected to the city water supply, the islanders had to devise their own means of obtaining water. In this regard, a small number of wells, like this one, were very important. A public clock on this site was once the only one that kept time on Kamishima. Today, the clock stand is a popular landmark of the island. This central laundry spot helped to conserve water, and also served as a social gathering place for the local women, who would meet to do their laundry. We have returned to the port of Kamishima, and are ready to board our next ferry. This time, we are traveling to the island of Sugashima. This journey will take about 25 minutes.
According to official statistics, the population of the island in May 2024 was 453. The economy of the island is based on commercial fishing and tourism, as well as income from a quarry. This is Shurongo Beach, which is named after a legendary giant serpent that washed up here, after being killed on a neighboring island. This beach is perhaps best known as the site of the Shirongo Festival, which is held in July every year. Although the beach is open to the public for swimming, fishing is strictly prohibited. Above Shirongo Beach is Shirahiga Shrine, which plays a central role in the Shirongo Festival. We have reached Sugashima Lighthouse, a white brick lighthouse that was designed and constructed by the British engineer Richard Henry Brunton. The lighthouse was first illuminated in 1873, in a ceremony attended by dignitaries from the Meiji government. Sugashima Lighthouse is listed as one of the 50 lighthouses of Japan by the Japan Lighthouse Association, and has been registered as a tangible cultural property of Japan.
We have now boarded our fifth ferry of the day, which will take us back to Toba Marine Terminal, where we will end our one-day three-island tour. This journey will take about 13 minutes. Thank you. 